Hey, I'm Livingston Brown and we're in the studio today. Um, I am going through some United State of Mind tracks and I wanted to talk about the vocals. Um, the vocalist, Maxi Priest, and recording him. Um, first, I've got to say, um, if anybody knows Maxi, he is so much more um, than most people realise as a vocalist. He came from sound system, um, Saxon sound system. He was the sweet boy. You know, while the DJ was Mr. Lover Lover, he was the guy who sang the sweet melodies on top. And um, uh, that's what kept the girls coming, um, I think um, is the um, term I've heard use. Um, he uh, has this way of playing with melody and phrasing and pushing and pulling um, because he's a soul singer. Um, you know, James Dewar, Robin's original singer, was a soul singer not a rock singer, um, and that's what they have in common. I've heard a lot of people comparing um, James and, and Max. Um, Max does his pure emotion. Ask him to sing it twice. You, you, it's not going to happen because he's feeling slightly different. He, he reacts to the moment and reacts to how he feels in ways that I've never encountered with another singer it's just pure soul that's emanating and anybody knows him knows he's just you know full full a soul that's full of energy full of vibes and stuff and it's just bursting out and uh, luckily he has that voice to to transport his um his message um we're um gonna isolate his track here um, Damn if she ain't got the world falling at her feet Damn if she catches you and drives you to the beat Got a little beat. compression on it Two lots of compression Oh, keep that one to yourself, Queen that's my down little secret Queen down in Central um, To the heights of LA And then I use what she won't um, do for a multi-band compressor as a DS Another little play. secret and the absolute Who's a key for me like Zaza? on this style is the Roland Space Echo, um, which for the oldest sake, amongst mama, you may recognise from the 70s. It was a man. tape machine with one piece of tape that went round, and that's how they created the echo. And so we the use that as a theme throughout the album. We use that. Um, and, um, but I know if I show you I'm, into. So this first line here, if she... um, for the nerds among you, um, you'll see here that Max is constantly sliding. He doesn't just hold a note, he, go, he slides up to it, he slides down to it. So, damned, damned, damned if she ain't got damned. the world falling at her feet. And it's, you know, the way he manipulates the movement, you'll see here, they're not exactly on the bar. He pulls and pushes and pulls and pushes and he brings new meaning to melody and lyrics through his interpretation of phrasing. Um, and so any of you guys who are used to looking at this, you can see that he's one unique singer and just makes it feel so natural with what he's doing as well. Um, joy to record. I don't even worry about what mic or what place or whatever. With mic, you throw it on him. Um, with Max, you throw the mic on and he'll react to whatever the environment is. You know, if the mics, if his headphones are too loud, he don't care, he'll pull them off and sing. If they're too quiet, he don't care, he'll just sing quiet and make something work. And so it really is technically very easy to record. You just got to set the right environment where he feels as though he can express himself, um, you know, which usually means some good food and some good chat. What surprised me is having worked with Max for 30 years and worked with Robin for 30 years is that they could occupy the same creative space because both of them are creative tour de force. It's very kind of, you know, um, single minded in what they're trying to achieve. And what was amazing was seeing both of them acquiesce creativity to each other in a way that I, I was just almost shocking. Um, you know, if Max would be like, if Robin's wants me to sing it like this, then it's great. And Robin B. Max wants me to play it like this, great, I'll do this. And when we were recording the vocal, um, Robin would be in the room and he'd be throwing lines at Max and I'd throw lines in and one to the other. 
And you can, actually, there's a little bit here. Damned if she ain't got the world falling at her feet. Yeah. Damn it. That yeah is Robin in the background. <laughs> just yeah, pushing him on, vibe, creating the vibe as we're saying, just creating a great vibe where he feels comfortable and and he can express himself. And so yeah, it was um, just fun. It was an amazing thing to see these guys, you know, creating in in the single space. The great thing about this album is that it's not what Robin does and it's not what Maxi does. They properly shared creativity and found a whole new place you have to listen to this album um to to understand what i'm saying it really is um something that's unique born out of great artists just sharing creativity <laughs> 